I, I don't blame Kevin. Listen, <clears throat> I know you want to bootstrap energy me here. I, you've been on this kick lately. Just play through it. It's okay. Um, there's 49 seconds left in the game. DJ Burns was when he was able to be on the floor last night. He was effective. Yeah. And on the previous possession, yeah. he scores. He gets an and one. Now you're down one. You get the ball in, inside to your guy. He's being guarded by Jesse Edwards. Jesse Edwards is 6'11", 230. Mm-hmm. I get there's a weight discrepancy there. As a straight up flop. That's all it was. There were a couple flops. It last was a night. pure flop. Joe Girard was atrocious. And for the referees to award Edwards for flopping is what needs to be fixed with college basketball. Mm-hmm. That's the part of college basketball. Take the timing, take the score out, take all of it out. You're a grown ass man amongst the league leaders in rebounds and block shots. Mm-hmm. You're six eleven. Play defense. Attempt to block the shot. B- to be Herm Edwards, be a man, put your name on it. Yeah. Okay? You don't need to flop like a baby. You don't need to flop like you're in fifth grade. You don't need to flop like this is Hoosiers and you're playing the, the city team and you're not good enough to compete. You're good enough to compete. You didn't. You flopped. You fell. It's a garbage play. They need to get rid of it. Well, they're trying to. That's the not funny hard part. enough. Well, not hard okay. enough. So you and I were talking about this because it doesn't happen in the NBA. See, they and, don't reward it in the NBA, I, so it's yeah. it's it's effectively out of the NBA game. Right. You and I were talking about this before the show today, and you're like, and we were watching NBA highlights, and you're like, you notice how this stuff doesn't play out in the NBA? Well, there's only 32 teams in the NBA. That's a great point. And there are 300 some odd teams in NCAA basketball. And that's ultimately the problem and why it's not bootstraps energy that you're trying to make fun of me on. No, you've been on this big kick, though, lately. Well, and I get it. You're tired. I mean, listen, you have radio scars. You have more radio scars than I do. So there's been a lot the, of there's been a lot of day afters where you've had a t- had to talk sure, about sure, officiating. Sure, 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 so I sure. get that part so, of it. But my point is, if you truly wanted to improve the game, which they, they should, they've tried to. But you know why it comes back to rewarding guys who flop? Why they Honestly, reward I don't dudes know. for just getting in the way? When you're dealing with 300 some odd basketball teams, those that are not as skilled as a Power Five team, and even those within Power Five conferences, the discrepancy between a Duke and a Carolina and a Georgia Tech, who's essentially playing free basketball these days, that you have to find ways to even it up. And the best way to do it is to get in the way, to put teams in foul trouble, to muck up the lane, if you will, and neutralize it the best way you can. And if if he it's was such a if huge... he was barreling down no, I the get lane, you. I, get I would you. say to you, you know what? That's an acceptable basketball play. He was not. He was backing him down in the post. This wasn't somebody driving yeah. and you saying, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be I'm gonna be tough enough to stand in the way and take this charge. No man, it's not basketball.